Welcome to Home Sweet Home. Every week, the best home experts on the Sun Coast reveal their best tips and best tricks for inspiration and transformation. It's your beautiful home hotspot. This week, outdoor living at its finest. My name is Amy Hummel. And I'm Danielle Krausick with Superior Pools. This is such a special pool to us and our company. With all the features, we extended it into two shows. Enjoy! Enjoy. All right, so I got Adam Rankin with Absolute Aluminum here. And um, he does, Absolute Aluminum does all of our outdoor living from the deck up. Cages, kitchens, pergolas, comp roofs, everything and, and we brought him out here to talk about this because it has a lot of key features that we like to add to cages and uh, no better place to hear about it but from the expert so just Adam why don't you tell us a little bit about what we did out here and some things that there's a lot of unique uh, qualities in this space that they made one being that this pool is so large and wide the eaves on this house are quite low so if we were to attach like anybody normally would, you would really take away from the effect of this area. So we elevated the wall by three feet. So it is aesthetically correct with the size of this deck, but also because the, the pool company, Superior, wanted to put a raised edge on the back here with these fire bowls. So had we not done that, that open area right there would have looked really out of place. And that's the kind of thing that we like to go back and forth and kind of educate the customer. And we educate ourselves, you know, between Superior Pools and Absolute Aluminum all the time in that respect. But, you know, when you come down to Florida, most people buy a home for a view, whether you're on a pond, a canal, coastal inlet, uh, on the Gulf. This open view system is, is the best way to really not obstruct the view like it was back in the day. And even when there's not a pond in the background, if, even if that was all grass, it would really give you a, a, a much better effect for sunset, sunrise, and things like that. You know, watch the birds, whatever it is, it's, it's quite beneficial. And so what are some features of OpenView Cage? I know you have span limitations and um, also like screening type, and we use an upgraded screening on it. So tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, we, you know, we get a lot of gnats and noceums in Florida, so we like to use a 2020 mesh and we, we use a tough screen that's guaranteed for 10 years because the UV rays in Florida are, are pretty tough on anything outside. And, uh, you know, nothing's maintenance free, so we want to get as much longevity out of it as we can. The, the opening sizes, you know, there, a lot of people go extremely large. We like to take into account that we're in a hurricane zone. We got a lot of high winds and we kind of gauge for that. We know what wind zone we're in and all those factors that go along with that. So we err on the side of caution because when one comes through, we want to make sure it's still here when it's gone. So a huge part about building a pool is also, and, and incorporating the cage and the deck is just building the overall outdoor living space. You know, like. I tell all my clients, and, and I know you guys tell yours, we're not just building a pool back here. We're not just putting a deck. It's really taking your indoor space and bringing it outside. That's why we're all in Florida. And one of the big things that I like that you guys offer is totally custom kitchens and pergolas, and, and it really opens up a lot of options for people uh, to enjoy the outside space. So tell me a little bit about what we got going on here. Every inch of space we want to utilize to the fullest extent for the customer because it's not like we're you know adding a bathroom to a house this is something that you're going to enjoy for years and years and years and the trend moves more and more towards people could buy a small house they want a big outdoor space and they want it to be fully functional and usable so they like to entertain and we like to deliver that for them just like Superior Pools does so the neat part about the adjustable pergola is you can hit the button on your phone while you're out here grilling in this area. One, you're, you get to ventilate the smoke. 
if we were to put a composite solid roof here, you wouldn't really be able to put a grill system in here because of the smoke. So the only way to get around that is if somebody put a hood through your roof. Well, there's not an under truss roof here. So this is, fits the best of both worlds. You can ventilate the smoke, use this space, and when it rains, the rain sensor on this pergola or the wind sensor is gonna automatically close the roof or open it during a wind event because we don't want uplift during a hurricane. Because everything that we do here is rated to current hurricane code. It can be anywhere from 140 to 150 mile an hour. We try to meet and, ex and exceed in most cases that wind code planning for the future as that changes all the time. But this is a Solaire grill. Everything that we use in this outdoor kitchen is warranted for life. You never have to worry about it. Every one of the cabinets under here, sink, handles, the grill itself, all the components inside it are marine grade stainless steel. There's a lot of stainless steels out there. Everything you would get from a big store would be not marine grade stainless steel. When you see surface rust, you know it's not marine grade. Marine grade is one step up from surgical stainless steel. Well, from living in Florida before uh, and from the pools that we had built uh, in, in the beginning of our company, when uh, we were in developments, the homes were all, they had lot lines that you had to be within, you know, you had setbacks of maybe 10 feet and you were limited to the space that you had. So where I lived at the time, we dealt with the same situation and we had always said that if if there was anything we would do different that we would have additional outdoor space because uh, living in Florida, you really spend the majority of your time uh, outside. And when we would talk with uh, clients in regards to the, their new pools, we always explained to them that one thing every customer has always said to us, they never really said that they wanted more pool, they wanted more deck space. And so here we were basically unlimited. So we decided to make our outdoor living bigger than our indoor living. Right, yeah, exactly. And we, and we love it. Yeah, this house, uh, when we bought it, was advertised as 3,500 square foot and uh, about 2,800 foot of it is under air. And the living space for the outdoor space is approximately 3,200 square feet. So uh, with that being said, it kind of points out that people spend more time outside in Florida. Yeah. It's great for entertaining. We have plenty of room for the guests and it's very nice. So these pergolas, tell me a little bit more about how this works and you know, we talked about it, it's a great solution for grilling and, and ventilating. It's aesthetically pleasing, it's different, it's automated from your phone, you know, you're not having to manually get a pull out and crank louvers open or, you know, most of the products out there don't do anything like this. They're stationary, they either stay open or it's a solid roof. And this is presentable. This goes with the entire atmosphere of this outdoor living space where if we're putting, you know, a composite roof up here, it, it doesn't go with a house. It's all, it's all high grade aluminum. It's made in the United States. This situation right here, this is actually fairly low, but the, the problem is if you go higher like we did with the cage in this area you you're gonna have openings on the sides and then you're gonna take away from because in Florida you don't get a straight down rain you get driving rain so we want it to be functional all year round for the clients and we want it to look like it's supposed to be with the house you know we don't want it to look like a sidebar or an add-on because we want the, the customer to be proud of it in the end, just like you guys do. You know, we want a relationship for life just like Superior Pools does. So we try to do everything to educate on the front end and help people make good buying decisions so they're happy. You know. Looking to add more space to your place while avoiding a long and costly remodel? A beautifully designed custom closet or home office space from More Space Place offers endless possibilities. Schedule your free consultation.
Sleep King in Sarasota, where you can buy a mattress today, sleep on it tonight. Now through Wednesday, your favorite brands in stock and on sale. Free same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Visit our showroom or at sleepkingmattress.com. What makes a kitchen great? According to the National Kitchen and Bath Association, a kitchen that is designed well, works great, looks great, meets your needs, and it's got to be a kitchen from Eurotech Cabinetry. Functional artwork for the gallery you call home. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Looking to add more space to your place while avoiding a long and costly remodel? More Space Place offers the widest selection of the most comfortable and stylish Murphy beds in the market. Schedule your free design consultation. Sleep King in Sarasota, since 1972, where you can buy a mattress today, sleep on it tonight. Now through Wednesday, your favorite brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more are in stock and on sale. Free same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. The best rest of your life starts at Sleep King in Sarasota. Visit our showroom today or at sleepkingmattress.com. Uh, we got Rob here with MRT. Uh, we refer most of our jobs to his company and they come in after the fact and do this beautiful landscaping. Uh, you know, especially being my dad's house, I wanted this thing to be, you know, he calls himself the pool king, so he needed to be a fit for uh, Royal. So I got Rob involved and me and him kind of went at the design, but Rob knows his plants and he has the eye. So uh, Rob, I'm going to let you talk a little bit about what we did here, uh, how you started it off and how you tied things together. And you know, the way it looks now, it did not look, look this way before. It was, you know, the front of that house was a mess. Previous owner had, you know, landscape timbers pretty much to hold the beds in because the house was built up so much. But, you know, we try not to destroy all those elements and, and reuse what he had. So basically the slope we didn't change. We just took the material out and put in the boulders. Front yard here, if you stand back and look, it's the main entrance that you want to attract people to. You know, from a distance, the rock separated or isolating by itself separates both ends of the houses so it draws your eye to it. Pretty much everything here in the front is new uh, except for, you know, I call them the pillars, the two palm trees on each end. You know, luckily the, the homeowner, you know, liked those so we kept those and, you know, I was able to work off of that. So everything else pretty much, you know, just kind of fell into place. The front entrance here as you walk up, obviously the, the steps here, but you know, without something holding it in, um, you know, we'd pretty much lose all of this, you know, throughout the rain. So it was a good opportunity to take some of the natural, you know, the natural stone, this limestone here, and uh, mix it with a little bit more decorative rock. And, you know, we were able to find some that had good colors, you know, it tied together, but, uh, you know, it was a little bit of a risk. I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out, but. Yeah, no, I, I like that. You got the big boulders and you got the rock. And then you, you have that bark over there. You know, a lot of people, they either do all mulch or all bark or all rock. And uh, I really like it, how you mixed it up. It goes well with the house, it matches the house. It all flows together. We met Rob in April here. We were here one time in April to get as much final as we could. And uh, we just went through everything and I just told him I like lots of color and Bill loves coconut palms, and he nailed it like beyond my expectations. It is just beautiful color and a little sitting area under the oak tree with the, the vases that light up at night, and it, it is amazingly beautiful. I just, it is the best. It's definitely better than if I done it. I could tell <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I had to throw that in there. But no, it was basically, he, we basically just turned them loose, other yeah. than saying she wanted but color, and then he sent a A few couple little of, different uh, things, and he was. 3D designs, yeah. and we said, do it. And as we got here and looked, it was unbelievable. Okay. So. Yeah. 
a really a great, beautiful job. You know, the homeowner I had actually met with, you know, just one time. And, uh, you know, I've had a relationship with, you know, John in the past. And this, this house in particular was a challenge because the house wasn't painted. So I didn't know the, the colors of the house or anything, you know, and he did. So every time I'd come up with an idea, we'd make changes and then put my expertise in as well. But I mean, you pretty much designed just as much the landscape as you did the pool, I'm sure. You know, working with you, uh, you're honest with me. If it wasn't gonna work, he was gonna tell me. So, you know, I came up with these two trees here. I wanted something that wasn't gonna be overgrown, but had a little bit of color. And then he filled in the area with all these other exotic plants. And, you know, I told him I didn't want like a Home Depot plant. I wanted a plant that you don't see everywhere. And he came up with that and, you know, I trust him and, you know, look how it turned out. It turned out awesome. You know, the biggest thing with landscaping is you, the maintenance of it. You don't want stuff to overgrown and take away from everything. And what you put in here, uh, you know, a lot of things aren't, what is it, a couple oh. months on growing? Or, right. Or, it won't take over the area or be too much to maintain as well. So I, you know, I have to think about those things as well. And what, uh, what are these trees called again? Uh, hibiscus. Is it a certain color hibiscus? Yeah, it's an Anderson crepe. It's actually a weeping hibiscus. So it's a little bit different from what most people are used to. Um, hibiscus are real popular, so everybody likes them. And it's always a challenge to find, you know, one that's a little bit different. So it fits, you know, his objective of, uh, you know, not having that, I guess the Home Depot theme you referred to, so. Yeah. All right, Rob, on this house layout, is a little bit different. Usually when you pull into the house, you're pulling into the front of the house. And the way this is set up, you're actually pulling into the corner of the side of the house. So it was a little bit of challenge up front to figure out what we were gonna do. So we didn't wanna overdo ourselves here and make it pop out more than you know the other areas. So it was a challenge and I'm gonna let you explain a little bit on how we came to this, which turned out perfect. All right. Yeah, this, um, you know, this house was a little bit different because you don't pull into the front. When you pull in, it's the corner of the house and you know from this angle as you come down the street and approach the house i mean you have like 200 yards here that you can see the house and it's just this side so you know my main i think this was actually my starting point when i came up with the design was to put a lot of color in here uh, try and hide you know some of the utility boxes obviously the fence was there but mostly just to uh, deliver a lot of color all right rob so now we're at the pool where uh you know this was our passion uh, we really had to make this pool pop and you know landscaping is a big deal when it comes to that so we needed some colors we needed different plants we needed some different designs tell us how you came up with uh, awesome landscaping when i first saw the pool the very first day i walked onto the property it didn't even have all the functions going it was just basically filled with water very clean and so i knew my expectations had to be uh, reached pretty high or set pretty high for this one so um, you know, obviously with the panoramic view and the acreage that they have out here, I didn't want to, in, you know, block the, uh, the pool area or the view looking out. Uh, most people, they want the privacy, so they go with things that are just going to, you know, block them, give them privacy from their neighbors. But out here, you can really leave it open. So, um, you know, it gave me a good opportunity to put in a little bit different stuff widen the beds a little bit because we have the extra space. You know, basically we just picked out a lot of plants with color and uh, just went from one end to the other, but there was a few things that they had, you know, requests about. John here, he, you know, obviously moving water and pools, things like that, uh, their functionality and, and uh, what they like, but uh, he had told me to mix in a uh, fountain and, you know, he had purchased the fountain here and of course uh, you can't see it during the day, but it actually lights up at night and will, you know, change colors, things like that. Uh, really a click of a button, so. When, uh, when I was trying to pick the location for the fountain, I knew it was gonna go into the back and couldn't go into the pool area because obviously you don't, you don't wanna take away from the pool. But um, you know, you kinda have this little hidden area with the oak tree here. So it's kinda like a little nook to itself. And uh, you know, when you're sick of being inside or you're having a party, you just wanna come out and relax. Uh, this was kind of like a little hidden area because of the canopy of the tree where you could do a seating area. Now. The stones here, those were all on the property, so they were original. I'd be walking along and just kick one out of the ground and you know, we made a big pile of them. Uh, it was a last minute idea actually because I didn't realize how all this sloped down. 
So when I set the fountain out, I realized that you can't see the fountain from inside the pool area. So I built this area up, used the existing rocks here, and it actually kind of created a wall, almost like this is a separate room. And so obviously I went with a different material and uh, put the rock down here, the bench here. The uh, original photos, this area had one, two, three big chunks of uh, logs here from, I believe it's this tree or may, maybe another tree. And um, you know, I got the idea that they were sturdy enough. You know, it was kind of a last minute idea that just sort of fit with the existing stuff that was here and we just kind of fed off of it. Uh, you know, his first tree he got at his first house, we moved down here in uh, 2000, 99, 2000. So, you know, I told Rob we wanted some coconuts back here, three of them, and then uh, you do your magic on the rest. So, you know, it's a little bit challenging. We got the raised area, uh, a couple different raised areas at different heights here. So, Rob, go ahead and explain uh, what you have to, what goes into all that when you got these different elevations and you know that the coconuts were going to be the main focal point, so you didn't want to take away from them. Yeah, and it's, um, you know, it's always a challenge. Uh, a lot of people, they like to look at the landscape from the outside, looking towards the house. Um, back here, being what you have behind you, there's, there's not really going to be any reference to do that. So really, we had to create the landscape outside of the cage so it looks good from inside the cage. The deck's so big, we wanted to add something to it that uh, would pop off. But the main thing that stuck out to me is when I first came here is how big these were. They're so big. And for having this big pool and big uh, cage and big deck, I want to have it no other way. It looks awesome. So again, it was the colors we tried to tie in. And then we wanted different plants. We went back and forth with that. To me, when you have a raised area, that's what we build the raised areas for, is focal points and to set something on top. Yeah. That was the main thing. I just wanted a couple there, but then we tied them all around. You know, when I first, you know, got the lead from you to do that, I thought it was a little bit extravagant, but you know, with a pool like this, you know, you have to meet those needs, otherwise it's just not gonna fit. Um, you know, at MRT Lawn and Garden, not only we do landscapes, we also have a store and we sell, you know, patio furniture, outdoor furniture. That, of course, is where we get these pots. Everything, all the pots here actually come internationally, so we never know what we're gonna get. So when he said he was sending pictures to me, it's basically I'm going down the pot yard just trying to send various pots and find, one, find ones that match, ones that don't match and just kind of let him pick it out. But, you know, he knew the color scheme that he wanted back here, so I was kind of just the middleman with it. You know, with a pool and a patio space this big, to go with smaller pots, it would have just, you know, not made any sense, so. You know, and on top of that, he goes the extra mile and he puts rocks in here. He, he puts the little things that, you know, the little details that make the job. And that's big for me too, because I'm very detailed when it comes to those little things. That's what separates us from you know, other companies. The little details matter. So, and that's what Rob does, that's what MRT does. Yeah, the main thing about MRT is they have an awesome office where they have fountains, they have all these different plants you can go there and pick out, but they're inside store. They have every knickknack. They're a great company. So if you're looking for any landscaping, honest company that cares about your wallet, and cares about the final project, go see MRT. Ask for Rob or ask for anyone there, they'll take care of you. And that's what it's all about. So hey, I appreciate it, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Everything just flows so nice. And I love the blue pops of blue. I just love that. Yeah, right down to the vases. Yeah. <laughs> Danielle, I yeah. think, and John did yeah. all the vases here when they did the uh, got with Rob with the landscaping. This was a surprise to us. We had no idea about all that. Sleep King in Sarasota since 1972, where you can buy a mattress today, sleep on it tonight. Now through Wednesday, your favorite brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, Eye Comfort, and more are in stock and on sale. Free same day delivery even if we have to carry it on our backs. The best rest of your life starts at Sleep King in Sarasota. Visit our showroom today or at sleepkingmattress.com. Looking to add more space to your place while avoiding a long and costly remodel? A beautifully designed custom closet or home office space from More Space Place offers endless possibilities. Schedule your free consultation. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style or this, 
or maybe this. Contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. What makes a kitchen great? According to the National Kitchen and Bath Association, a kitchen that is designed well, works great, looks great, meets your needs, and it's got to be a kitchen from Eurotech Cabinetry. Functional artwork for the gallery you call home. Looking to add more space to your place while avoiding a long and costly remodel? More Space Place offers the widest selection of the most comfortable and stylish Murphy beds in the market. Schedule your free design consultation. Sleep King in Sarasota, where you can buy a mattress today, sleep on it tonight. Now through Wednesday, your favorite brands in stock and on sale. Free same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Visit our showroom or at sleepkingmattress.com. Great job, John. Thank you. <laughs> Learn from the best. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us on this outdoor living edition of Home Sweet Home. If you would like to watch this episode again or learn more about our experts, visit homesweethomefla.com. Sleep King in Sarasota since 1972, where you can buy a mattress today, sleep on it tonight. Now through Wednesday, your favorite brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more are in stock and on sale. Free same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. The best rest of your life starts at Sleep King in Sarasota. Visit our showroom today or at sleepkingmattress.com. Looking to add more space to your place while avoiding a long and costly remodel? A beautifully designed custom closet or home office space from More Space Place offers endless possibilities. Schedule your free consultation. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style or this, or maybe this, Contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Looking to add more space to your place while avoiding a long and costly remodel? More Space Place offers the widest selection of the most comfortable and stylish Murphy beds in the market. Schedule your free design consultation.